What's up guys, this is David here and welcome to another Mobile Legend Most In-Depth Guide video featuring Cho, the Bruce Lee Special Effect Double. Previously, we mentioned he was trained by a monk and came to the land of Dawn to spread justice and kindness. After wandering the land of Dawn for quite a while and uh, obviously some recent patch notes, this Bruce Lee Double's Kung Fu skill indeed twisted quite a bit. Which leaves us no choice but to come back and remake another in-depth guide for this kung fu boy. Ugh. Let's get into his build. Cho is a melee fighter who excels at throwing infinite amount of slows and crowd control on his enemies using his superior kung fu skills. And by the way, some some people pronounce Cho's name as Chu. I personally pr prefer Cho, but it's up to you. Depending on where you're from, how you like it. <laughs> That's besides the point. He is one of the most spent, if not first pick character in a high low ranked or national arena scene. In the current meta, Bruce Lee, I mean Cho, is most seen as a tank fighter and played as a support role in a team comp, whose main job is either to peel for his backline marksman or siege enemy backline instead. Cho's passive, only fast, will empower Cho's next out attack every time he moves a certain distance and if he hits enemy with his empowered fist they will be slowed by an extreme amount and take extra 40% damage from Cho's out attack this ability is what makes Bruce Lee so formidable at level 1 because he's able to consistently dish out so much slow and so much damage because of the passive no Cho's passive is so strong but oftentimes Neutral players will only care about your flashy skills and forget to utilize his passive. What you want to do is utilize your auto attack as much as you can and never stay still so you can charge up your passive faster and apply it once again. We'll get into his combo just in a little bit. Cho's first skill, Jikchindo, is an ability that can be cast three times in short consecutive periods. Now try to pronounce that name a couple of times. Jikchindo! First two casts will slow any units hit by 60%, and the third cast will actually knock enemy airborne, any enemy that's hit in that small AOE area. No here is, the slow and knockoff effect can be nullified by purifying, if timed correctly. So be mindful of enemy's battle spell choice when you play Bruce Lee. Another note here is, please get used to hold and drag when using this ability. So your kick will actually go towards your desired direction or target. Otherwise, you might end up using your first ability on a minion instead, and your enemy will probably see the opportunity to punish you. Because this is his main damage ability and offers so much crowd control, we will be maxing out this ability first. Bruce Lee's second ability, Shunpo, allows him to dash for a short distance in a commanded direction. The short distance is actually pretty decent, but it's a short distance. While dashing, Cho is immune to everything that came towards him. And when I say everything, I literally mean like everything. This means if you time correctly, you can dodge Saber's ultimate, unless you use Eudora for example, you can dodge Eudora's ultimate, Eudora's stun, Eudora's first ability, everything from Eudora. And maybe enemy Cho's ultimate, if they have a Cho as well. It's a crazy thing. And the proficiency of using this ability usually differentiate experienced Cho player and the newer Cho player. Another note here is, this ability's dashing distance will come towards its passive, meaning by dashing, you will also charge up a passive much faster. On top of all this I just talked about, this ability will grant you, grant you your auto attack with armor strat, armor penetration, for 2 seconds after a cast, which is extremely OP. Oh, 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 and also, this little cooldown is refreshed after you successfully finished using third part of your first ability. Meaning, if you use this second ability to gap close and use the first ability, the moment you finish knocking people up, your second ability is off cooldown again. Which will get into our combo how to utilize this better in a little bit. Chose third ability. What the? Da, 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 da. Well, that's actually what it's called, right? Um, it's just the sound he makes every time he casts his ultimate. Anyways, his third ability, the Way of Dragon. 
It is a single target ability and has two activation points. First, you kick people back for a decent distance, if you're not by a wall by the way. And if you hit your ult again, within less than about a second or half a second, you're able to follow up to that person and complete a series of kicks to do double amount of damage and extended amount of time of CC. A note here is, while Bruce Lee is in the animation of the second activation, he's completely immune to anything and everything that comes towards him. Just like his dash ability, this means Bruce Lee can easily commit to kill someone under turret without taking tower damage. You can get out of there alive. Another note here is, Cho can be crowd controlled before he activates the second part of the ultimate if he delayed casting it. If crowd controlled before he can activate the second part of his ability, ultimate, he will no longer be able to connect the second part of the ultimate and people can just walk away from it. And also, if you dive enemy under a tower and hoping to kick them out, for example, and the enemy target that you kicked end up using Purify, the moment you cast your ult, you are no longer able to connect the second part of the ultimate either, and you will just stand, stand under the turret and die most likely. So make sure, again, before you commit, you have an idea of what battle spell enemy has, and whether it's on cooldown or not. Last but not least, the second part of Cho's ultimate is not automatic. You actually have to hit this ability again in a short succession to connect. And oh, by the way, the whole kicking distance of the second part of his ultimate comes into his passive as well. That's just crazy. And now, let's get into his basic laning and committing combos. In lane, you want to harass as much as you can combining the first and second ability. I call this combo no damage taken combo. This is how it works. You charge up your first ability twice, and then drag and hold, by the way, drag and hold your dash, don't just, don't just click on it, drag and hold your dash or gap close towards the enemy, immediately release the third part of your knockoff, all attack ones to proc their passive, so you can do an extended amount of damage while they're in the air, and then when they came off air, use second ability again to dash backward to dodge the skill shot earning damage. This is extremely annoying to deal against if you're on the enemy side. So if you see Bruce Lee kicking the air towards you, you know you need to back off before he kicks your butt into the air and you know, whoop your ass. Full committing combo is you charge up your first ability twice again and use the second ability gap close, full up your first ability to knock up the same draw as a laning combo but instead of dashing backwards uh, towards your tower, you dash to the back of the enemy, right? Use your auto attack once to proc your passive here and then immediately use your ultimate. Okay, you can also use your auto attack before you dash towards the back of the enemy. Either way, proc your passive first to do the damage, and then get behind them, kick them back towards your enemy, towards your teammates or your turret, either way. And after you get off that ultimate animation, you auto attack them once again to proc your passive, because at this point, your passive should be charged up. If not, just walk by a tiny distance, walk one step, and I guarantee you, your fist is on fire again. That means you're able to use your passive once again for the straw and for the extreme amount of damage. Now, because of the familiar engagement process of Cho, in high low ranked gameplay, you will see Cho take Flicker the most often. This way, you will add so much surprising factor, surprise factor, and mobility into your already mobile kit. In addition to that, I like to carry Roamer Emblem or Physical Emblem if you have not unlocked Roamer Emblem yet. Reasoning being, this Roamer Emblem offers so much movement speed that cannot be replaced with items, other any items in game. Now, damage you can make up, any other thing you can make up, but not HP can make up 10 items, but not movement speed. There are limited amount of items in the game that can offer you movement speed, and they do not synergize with Cho's kit. So, getting Roamer Emblem on Cho is really, really good for ganking. The more mobile you are, the easier you're able to land a successful gank on the enemy team. Item wise, I like to get either Bruce Force Breastplate, say that for a few times, god, or his helmet on Cho first, depending on landing enemies. If they're if they're damage source and mainly the magic damage, get Curse Helmet first. And this item is super OP after the last patch. If you're laning against AD carry, a lot of AD carry, a lot of AD damage, get the other one, Brute Force Breastplate. Then I like to get either Rapid Boots or Magic Boots. Both have their strength and advantages, so it's really up to your personal preference. Depending on enemy team comp, you can get Immortality, Bluster's the King, or Blade Armor. 
or all of them, right? Because if they have a lot of 80 damage, let's, if, let's say, give you a scenario, if they have Jow, if they have Alucard, for example, for some reason, or if they have 280, which is pretty interesting, get Blade Armor. Extremely, extremely good. Make you super tanky. Depending on enemy uh, team comp, though, I also get Demon's Adamant if enemy has assassin, a lot of assassins or fighters. This can be very beneficial for our team. So, let's get it into his gameplay. When playing Chell, you always want to be charging your first ability, so you can always be ready to knock up and go to your co combo mode. Here, as you can see, we've been charging our first ability, and we're getting the team fight, we already have our knock up, so we successfully killed the enemy Dora. And we are now in the middle of the entire enemy team because I had ultimate. That's why I was not afraid to engage. Because when we're in the ultimate form, we're immune to anything but everything. We saw Karina was a little bit off position. She's somehow in the front of the enemy line rather than on the side and hiding somewhere. Which gave us in the window. And immediately I see that window to kill Karina. And you can see there's nothing they can do. Even they have four on um, their four enemy and it was just me alone. Unless you're trying to get away using your ultimate, never use your ultimate on a tank. Never, ever use your ultimate on a tank. Your job is to see the enemy ADC or assassin and peel for your AD. Here, we see Karina off position once again. Um, Tigro and I immediately see the opportunity to go in and when I'm killing uh, Karina, even though she ended up getting the kill on our um, Tigro right here, unfortunately for him. As you can see here, Eudora tried to use stun for Ami. Because I know she was going to use stun, I immediately, I purposely saved my second ability just for her stun. And we were able to dodge that. Whenever you dodge something, you are able to see an immune showing on top of her body, saying that you dodged something. So here, we'll see if fight breaks up once again. Uh, we'll dodge that hook, and you do are now get caught, caught off position, he died immediately. Could not have jump on our Clint, but in, in fact, she misclicked and altered on me, and immediately I altered her. We we'll to get a kill on Karina very easily once again. After that, you always want to be seeing the objective. You can see, we got me turrets and immediately go back. And when you play Bruce Lee, you want to be especially mindful here, we have Flicker, so we can actually engage. So we charge our first ability twice. Instead of using the second ability, I use Flicker to go in. But, as I said, you can be CC'd while uh, you're, you, before you can connect the second part of your ult, which in fact, what you see just happened. Alpha purified, and I wasn't able to connect the second part of my ult, but I was able to survive because I was really patient with the second part of my ability. Or no, I'm sorry, the second skill, the Shunpo. So I know I was taking a lot of damage from the turrets. If I take one more tower shots, I was dead for sure. But I was waiting for the tower shots to get close to me, and I used the second ability to dodge that tower shot, and I was able to survive. Here, I got a little bit cocky. I see enemy Moscow here, and... Uh, my instinct of going on their backline immediately triggered and I started working, working towards him. But what I realized is their entire team is here and <laughs> unfortunately we died. But you learn some and you win some, you learn some. So here's a lesson, right? Because you're playing as a support tank fighter, you do not want to go by yourself. And here our clean get caught off position and just get bursted instantly. Our goal in this game is to focus on any backline because the tri they, besides Karina, they can't really get to our backline that easily. And they can't kill our backline very easily because we have a Clint. That means he can dash backwards to get to get some distance between him and Karina. And here you, see, you can see again, Alpha, Alpha used Purify once again to dodge my ultimate, to cancel my ultimate. So what I'm happening is I have to use my Flicker here to gap close so I can get to this Moscow here end up killing him fairly easily. After a kill, we're immediately waiting for objective. Another thing with playing Bruce Lee is you actually wait for tower shots sometimes to practice the second part of ability to dodge. And here we use the ultimate again. Our saver somehow decided to tank for me, <laughs> which I'm a tank, so I'm, I was supposed to do the tank job, but he get killed very easily. Here our um, Tigro once again, wonderful ultimate and a push over to seize the opportunity to get a kill, and that would be the game for us. GG well played. Thank you guys for watching this gameplay video, a most in-depth guide video. Hit the subscribe button if you like the show. Check out more amazing videos and come hang out with us every day during our live stream on YouTube and Twitch as well as Facebook Live from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Central Center Time. Use the links listed below. With that, thanks again for watching this ranked gameplay. And I will see you guys in our next video.